Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl Gaz, I'm back again with a new video. If you're new here, my name is Gaz, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing another week in my life and my last one, I went to New Jersey. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you guys go check out that video. I went to New Jersey for like six days. I am really missing not being back here. I really wanna go on vacation again. I think next time I might go on vacation around September. So yeah, we gotta say that moolah, you know what I mean? To go on vacation. I'm also not on vacation because this week is wedding week. I'm invited by very close family that I also kind of consider like cousins. It's her wedding so we're related to the bride's side. This week is gonna be very busy because of that. There are like three consecutive parties or like two parties and then like I guess like a breakfast thing. Um, I don't know how that works. I don't really remember. I don't even remember the last time I've been to a wedding. I think literally the last time I've been to a wedding was 2019 i think it was 2019 the last time i went to a wedding or 2020 it was no i think it was 2019 that was the last time i've been to a wedding so i kind of like forgot how everything works low-key but basically today is kind of night in my language we call it shalkina we're all gonna be wearing traditional afghan clothes if you guys did not know i am afghan i don't think i've said that on my channel before but yes i am afghan and we're gonna be wearing traditional afghan clothes tonight with afghan clothes it's very busy like the clothes is already like a statement itself and then like there's like a shawl Afghan jewelry is also very busy too, like big, big earrings. But I don't know what it's called, but basically it's like a headpiece. I don't remember how to say it in my language. For Afghan, say in the comments down below. Basically a really big headpiece and it has like these things that dangle. It's very, very pretty. I don't know if I want to wear a headpiece or if I should just wear earrings. The look is already very busy. I also just don't know what to do with my hair either. I was thinking to do maybe like a, like a updo like that and then my two bangs out and like curled there but i really want my hair to be very volumized and then for my eye makeup i feel like going for more of like a bronzy look i'm gonna do that i already did a skin prep i just have to blow dry my hair do my makeup and then wear my outfit so ar this week is gonna be busy but tomorrow is gonna be i guess a chill day i'm gonna be doing like chores and stuff but yeah we'll see what's gonna happen tomorrow but yeah so i forgot to mention that again i am very congested and it's because of my workplace i'm a teacher if you guys do not know that so i am very congested it's my day off i get sick and it lasts for a very long time and i swear i've already been sick for like a week and a half or almost two weeks yeah that's the situation right now very congested so sorry if i sound very congested throughout the whole video but yeah Alright guys, so we're at the party. Mainly the younger people are wearing Afghani dresses. And so I'm wearing a pink one. This is actually from Afghanistan. My sister's also wearing kind of like the same style, but like the green ones. 
I already showed you guys, but this is how I did my hair. Ponytail sort of style. Left my two bangs out, curled it. Everyone was like, why aren't you wearing the headpiece? Like, girl, I don't want to carry that on my head the whole time. I know it would have looked really nice with the look. It's just, it's going to be too much. That's that. Hey guys, so we just came back home from Shalpina. I'm guessing it's like probably almost 1 a.m. Sorry if I only got like a little bit of the party. I'm trying to enjoy the moment a little bit more, but obviously trying to protect people's privacy and not trying to really get everyone. So that's why I didn't really record that much. So the Shalpina is done. See y'all tomorrow. Guys, it's the next day. I look. This is how I look like 80% of the time. Pajamas, messy room, you already know how it is. But right now I am currently doing my laundry. My room is a mess. As you guys can see, there's like just really random stuff around my room that I have to pick up. I have to clean up around the house. I uh, vacuum, take out the garbage. And my sister's gonna do some other things around the house. Um, tomorrow is the wedding, but today I have to just do some chores and my day off. So I was like, thank God I could just relax. I'm just sorting my dark clothes from lighter clothes. Also, I have to still prep some things for the wedding tomorrow. I'm still trying to figure out my bra situation with my dress. It's very open from the back and I don't really have a strapless bra because I don't really wear dresses like that. So I'm just like, oh, this is the first time I'm kind of wearing like a dress that's very, very fancy and it has a big opening in the back. I don't want to wear like a bra that has straps on it. It's just going to look weird. And I don't have a strapless bra. So that's something I have to figure out. So let's do our laundry together. I did a quick outfit change because these two, yeah, I know. They don't match. Do not judge, okay? I can see what your guys' face looks like right now. They kind of, I don't know. Do they match? I just feel like, hey. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. You know, if I go like, go like this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Sorting out the laundry right here. So let's do that together. By the way, guys, if you keep seeing bags and like just random knickknacks on the floor, just know that I'm going in between my mom and my dad's place all the time. So I have to keep putting things in different bags. It's always messy in my room. Otherwise, I hate when my room is messy. That's the last. By the way, the laundry room smells like fart. I don't know if it's coming from outside or if it's from here. It smells really bad in here. I don't know, I just wanted to say that. Okay, I'm back home. I'm upstairs. I have about 35 minutes to kill. I'm just gonna be cleaning around the house, picking things up from the floor. If you guys are wondering why there's a bike there, just ignore it. It's a long story. We just don't have any balconies. We do have a bike room, it's just that they don't have space because everyone literally took all the room in the bike room. There's no space left for my bike and I've been requesting it for years, but it's still here, so... Okay, so I put my clothes in the dryer like the next maybe five minutes. I'm gonna just clean up around the house, clean up all the shoes.
Okay, so I just cleaned up around the house. Laundry is done, so I have to go pick that up. Uh, I just got a text from my mom to soak some rice quickly because I think she's going to be coming home soon. All right, let's rinse this rice. And All right, so I just cleaned up around the house and cleaned up my room. It's looking a lot more organized. There are some stuff on the floor still just because I need them for everyday basis. I'm just going to vacuum the whole house. Yeah, I'm gonna probably make some salad right after I vacuum. But as I was cleaning, I had those vitamins and I don't know if it was reacting bad to my body because I had too many at once, but I usually do that and it doesn't really do much to my body. But once I had that, my body started to like overheat, especially like my face, like my ears are super red. I don't know if you guys could see that. My ears are like burning and my face is like burning. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like a weird allergic reaction or something. I don't know why my ears are so red. They never look like that. But literally right after I had those vitamins and supplements and I started to feel like nauseous. So I'm just gonna sit down for like a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna start vacuuming. But yeah, that was just really weird. I was like getting kind of scared. I was like, uh, I'm like by myself. I hope nothing bad happens to me, but I just drink a little bit more water. I think I'm doing a little bit better, but yeah, it's just weird. I was craving hummus. So good.
Right now, I am figuring out my wedding dress outfit thingy-majig because the dress is a bit too long for me. I was like, shoot, it's long and it's still long when I'm wearing heels. You guys will see how the dress will look tomorrow. Basically, my mom was telling me to cut the bottom of the dress. We cut the bottom of the dress a little bit and now I have to hand stitch it because we don't have a sewing machine. We do, but gave it to my grandma I don't know why yesterday I could have literally gave it to her and she could have quickly just sewed it very quickly but no I totally forgot and I thought maybe she would also get mad at me if I asked her very last minute actually I don't think she would have got mad but still I totally forgot because I was just we were rushing like crazy yesterday to go to the head of night yeah now I have to stitch this it's just gonna take a bit longer I'm stitching the edges here I did not know how to do it my mom showed me <gasps> I'm so tired. Today was a very productive day. I might just pause for tonight because it's literally 1.49 a.m. I've stitched up to here all the way down here. So I still have a lot left. Also need to fix like my straps on my dress to make it a little bit shorter. But I don't know how I'm going to do that for tomorrow. We'll see because I really don't know how to stitch. See you guys tomorrow. Good night wedding day hello everyone it is the next day it is friday today is also the wedding day took a shower i'm gonna have some of my morning supplements and then i'm gonna start prepping for lunch continue sewing my dress i have to continue sewing that i have to figure that out but i also have to paint my toenails because my toenails are a whole different color and they're all chipped off and I do my makeup and my hair and let's take our supplements together Okay, so in the morning, I usually have sea moss, so do your research about sea moss because it's really good for you. It has 92 out of the 100 and something minerals. There's a lot of really good benefits about sea moss, so check that out. Yeah, I also take this thing called Guffix Formula, and it's a herbal medicine. It's supposed to soothe your gastrointestinal tract. That's that, and I take this as like a powder. And then I take these droplet things, like sometimes I take oregano oil or grapefruit oil or this something called Bugs Be Gone. I just put a couple of drops in water and then I drink that. I have all of this in the morning. Let me show you how sea moss looks like. It's basically a gel. You're supposed to have like a tablespoon of this in the morning and then one at the nighttime. I, take, I eat a lot of this stuff, so like that. Sea moss has a very oceany, fishy taste. It's not fishy, but when you eat it, you know it's from the ocean. It's just like, it just has that taste. And then my gut fix, I'm supposed to put it in a cup. It comes with measuring spoon already. Take that, put it in the cup. And I usually drink this with lukewarm water. It's supposed to look like that. And you mix, mix, mix. I hate the taste of this. It has a really bad taste. It really helps with my stomach. Anything good for you guys and it tastes bad is gonna help you, trust me. But, cheers. <sighs> then I have my little droplets. Today I'm gonna have grapefruit oil. Sorry, I said it wrong. It's grapefruit seed extract, looks like this. I typically put about three drops or something. Look what it does to the water, okay? Look. Turns yellow. Does it look like urine? Yes, kind of, but. Cheers. This is very strong. I forgot how strong this is, but. Ugh. And that's that. I just finished stitching the bottom part of my dress and I also painted my toenails but I didn't want to show you guys that because some people have foot fetishes so I'm not going to show my toenails. And now I'm just going to figure out what I want to do for my makeup. I'm going to do a before and after. This is before my makeup, natural face, and this is 
And after, guys, this took pretty long to do. Kind of stressing out right now because this lash is kind of coming off. My lips look really ashy. I need to put something on my lips, but this is the eye look. This is the hair. What do you guys think? Pretty? Is currently 3 a.m. Just made it back home. Wedding was fun. We danced. I didn't even get to vlog properly. And again, that's just because I've been trying to take in the moment. I did try to vlog here and there of the wedding. Like, sorry if I didn't talk that much. I still hope you guys enjoyed those clips. I was wearing this dress. I already showed it, but yeah, I wore this dress. Honestly, this is a very pretty dress. And my shoes were so uncomfortable. I could could not walk in them once i wore them and i started walking in them for like a couple of seconds i'm like oh no these are going to hurt me and they kept getting stuck on my dress because they kind of have like the same materials for all the dress was still a little, a little bit too long i think it still needed a bit of a trim but i managed i pulled through the shoes were extremely uncomfortable but i still just wanted to keep them on because i want to look tall I don't even know how I danced in those shoes. Like I had to keep like sitting down a couple of times cause I was like, no, like I'm, I'm out. Like wedding night is over. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day, day after the wedding. Couldn't sleep for like the longest time. I don't know why. I was like wide awake for a long time and then eventually it passed out. Today is Saturday. We are going grocery shopping and then I'm gonna come back home, edit a video that you guys are probably already gonna see, which is my reaction video to Jungkook's 7 music video. I'm wearing something very casual. Just put on some perfume. This is from Juicy Couture. I don't know which one this is because I got this as a gift. Yeah, it smells really good. Lego. Just witnessed a fight. I don't know what the fight was about, but basically we saw this white lady like chasing after this guy with her phone to get like some kind of evidence or something. Yeah, it was so random. Yeah, but we're done grocery shopping. Drinking my hot chocolate, but they didn't give me sleep, so I had to use this towel thing. We just made it back. I have to put the groceries back in the refrigerator, and then I'm gonna start editing 
my video. I hopefully upload the video today. If not, probably tomorrow, but I'm gonna try my best to upload the video today. Still currently editing the video. Like I said, this video will already be out. Um, so check it out. I react to John Cook's seven music video. So currently editing it now, but when this video comes out, it will already be out. My reaction video. So yeah, check it out. But he's in the coffin? What? Sunday, I finished off editing my video at like 3 a.m. Took a shower and now we're going for the Nashtai. Basically, it's like the kind of get together party thing after a wedding. We're going to the bride's house. I'm just gonna shave my eyebrows a little bit just so they're even. They're kind of growing back, so I'm just gonna my eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna be doing my hair. Just put my hair to its side. Like so. Sorry guys, the fan is running in the washroom if you guys can't hear me properly, but I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner in my hair. I put a lot of this stuff on because it's very dry hair. Gotta lock in that moisture. After spraying it, I just use a brush and brush through my hair so the product is evenly distributed. And then I'm just gonna put my hair up just so that the leave-in conditioner can stay in my hair. Put my hair up. 